Okay, so I'm going to be showing this new 2.5 import script for Synthize export. Um, so on Synthize, after you've created 2D trackers and you've solved for the 3D trackers, and you want to now export those trackers to Blender, there is a new um, script for that, a sizzle script. And the best way to find it is go to your Synthize, go to Help, go to Read Messages, and your browser will come up with the support um, customer care messages. Now normally if you go to their website and you go to support, you will get a different page. But if you go from your Synthize software, you'll come to the customer care messages here. And May 31st, uh, a Blender 2.5.SCZL export script for Blender for 2.57 and up, supposedly, until it don't work anymore. Um, beta, subject to improvements, uh, is now available. So just uh, click on that and it'll download. Now if you've got Windows, it says to install it in Program Files, Anderson Technologies LLC backslash synthize backslash scripts or if you've got a Mac library application support synthize scripts okay I have found that not to be true on my Mac don't know about yours but anyway where I had to go with my Mac and the way I found this was just do a search for any other dot s z l scripts to find out where the um, the ones that come with Synthize is at, and I found that to be in application uh, Synthize Synthize scripts. Found them all to be right here. So anyway, here down here, lower left in my Mac is the Blender 25.scl script, and I've just dropped it right up here in with all the other buddies here at the uh, in the scripts folder. Of the application synthize and it's right here and you can see this is the original one and this is the new one um, it's only 20k so it's not very large and once you drop it in there and you restart synthize if you had it open or you start synthize um, it necessarily won't be over here in the scripts but it'll be over here in the file export uh, section of the menu and it used to be just export again and blender python but now when I drop that script in there it's blender 2.5 python and so now that we've done what we want to do in synthize with our trackers and we're going to export by going to file blender 2.5 plus and export and you find a place to export it just remember where it is it's going to be a python script i've already done it it's here um, and i've named it flyover.py because i'm working on the um the, the uh, movie from um uh, anderson technologies that you use to go through your tutorials which is the flyover so anyway find a place to export that to. I'm going to cancel out because I've already done that. Now I'm going to go and open up Blender. Actually Blender's already open and let's say you just open it for the first time. I'm going to right click and X delete that. Delete the default cube. Not that I ever have it to start to begin with but I just put it in there because most people do. I'm also going to delete the light. Okay. So we've basically got a fresh uh, Blender interface and project now. Um, so what you're going to do is go down here, change this window to um, the text editor. Now we are in text editor window. We're going to go text, open text block, or you can type Alt-O. Okay, then navigate to where it is. Um, mine is here. 
you navigate to where that Python file is, highlight it, open text block. Once you do that, you basically open the text block. You haven't imported anything, you've just opened it. What you have to do now is run the script. Okay, doesn't look like anything happened, but if you notice down here, the default 250 frames is now shortened up to 150 frames, which is what this um, movie length is. And basically these uh, look like the locations of all the trackers. So I'll go back to 3D view, and boom, there it is. And I've, I had a pyramid I put in there, so that's also imported into Blender. Uh, I'm gonna hit zero to go to uh, the camera view. And down here, when you're in object mode, if you turn this to textured, you will now see the movie. It's already been imported um, for you and it's actually over here under camera you see I'm up in the browser I like to use this browser for selecting objects I've seen people like um, I don't want to call any names but they're pretty guru-ish on tutorials and they're fishing around for objects the best thing to go find an object is just find it in your little browser up here um, camera screen that's the actual screen that the movie is textured on and you can see everything's already set up um, your frame started at 1, your frames are uh, 0 to 149, you've got auto refresh check, this is what you used to have to do before manually it's already done for you um, the only thing you have to do to see the movie is uh, I'll click off of that plane by doing what I said I normally do. Um, the only thing you have to do to see that movie is change this from solid to textured. And now, if you play it, you will see the movie and your tracker data and everything there. And now, um, you could you can go in and you can see actually it's, like I said it was, it's a textured plane. So now you can go in and create geometry on these trackers. Um, if you wanted to get rid of all these lines, you would select the, uh, the center of the world, so to speak, here. And that is over here under in your browser under camera trackers. Um, you got all the trackers under there. Just select the, the top part and you can see it's selected here all of the trackers uh, that are parented to this point. And then if you type N, bring up your properties panel, and you're going to go down to display, and you're going to uncheck relationship lines, and you've got um, a little cleaner user interface. And you can use that to uh, generate your 3D objects. And that's about it. Pretty simple. Um, first, you got to go to customer care messages, download the sizzle file, um, start your synthize backup file, Blender 2.5 Python, and uh, Blender, open up your text editor, import it or rather open text open and then run the script go back to your 3d view it's there and then just change this to textured view if you want to see the movie and that's it uh, I hope this was a little help to you if it was just comment below subscribe like um, show me a little love thank you bye